Okay, let's talk about ransomware. It's been in the news recently. Uh, it's really on the rise. Partly because the group Anonymous hacked into the NSA. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. The National Security Agency of the United States government, the NSA, and stole their, uh, some of their cyber hacking tools and they released them on the internet. Uh, kind of dangerous move because what's happened is that software has been sold to criminals uh, and governments. Um, and so now it's become really easy to do a ransomware attack. So let me just explain what a ransomware attack is. Basically what you do is you spoof, so you fake your way in with a message. And that message needs to contain a link, usually, or a file that's not the Word file or the PDF it claims to be. But what it is is a piece of software that goes onto your machine and encrypts everything or at least it encrypts access to everything. That's fairly easy to do, just so you know. And so then what it does is the ransomware pops up a little message and says, hey, if you want to unencrypt your drives, we will give you a key to do that, but you will need to pay us. And the payment is made in Bitcoins. And it's to an account that is completely untraceable because Bitcoins is a cryptocurrency. It's not run by any government. And indeed, no one actually knows where the crypto servers are for Bitcoin. There's been a few little inklings of where they might be in the world, but no one's actually tracked them down. There's some sense they're in Australia, and it's an Australian who set them up. Um, and he said he'd done it, and then he said he hadn't, and then he was you know, threatened with his life and all sorts of crazy stuff. Anyway, you can pay with Bitcoins. A payment can be made. And usually the way, ran the way ransomware works is this. They'll say, hey, if you send us $200 in Bitcoins right now, we will give you the encryption key. And then in 30 minutes, it says, hey, well, now we need $300. And then in one hour, it says, you send us $600 right now, or we're wiping your drive. And then the software just, it never doesn't actually wipe your drive, but they never give you the key to unlock it. And so it's really, as you can imagine, if you're an organization and you've been hit by ransomware, it's kind of quicker and easier just to pay the $200 um, to get access to your machines. And so these ransomware attacks have hit banks, they've hit uh, utilities, they've hit uh, hotels. So at the start of the ski season last year in the Swiss Alps, a really high end um, ski resort in the Swiss Alps got a ransomware attack on its uh, reservation system, sorry, on its uh, hotel a room access system. So you know when you check into a hotel, they can program the keys. Um, that's because everything is now controlled by technology. So someone hacked into that system and basically what they did is, I think it was 5 p.m. in the afternoon, they shut, they locked permanently every door. If you were in, you were stuck in, and if you were out of your hotel room, you were stuck out. And then they sent a ransomware demand to the people running the hotel and they said, for $5,000, we will give you the key to unlock uh, your hotel key system so you can let people in and out of their rooms. And as you can imagine, uh, it's the start of the ski season. It's the Swiss Alps. You need to let people out of their rooms. That's crazy dangerous. And so they ended up paying the $5,000 to make that happen. So that is a ransomware attack.